Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the English Cocker Spaniel breed. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Overview The English Cocker Spaniel breed emerged in England from a more general Spaniel type dog breed. The Cocker is a gun dog that was utilized for flushing out the prey, driving it towards the hunters and their guns. The name, Cocker, comes from the woodcock, a game bird that the Cocker Spaniel would frequently flush out. Spaniel means Spanish dog, where it is believed they have descended. Other talents exhibited by the English Cocker are retrieving, agility, tracking, watchdog, and competitive obedience. In 1946 AKC recognized the American Cocker Spaniel and the English Cocker Spaniel as two distinct breeds. As always, let's start off with the pros, long lifespan. Intelligent and take well to training. Very family-oriented dogs. Generally healthy when looked after properly. Adaptive to environment and personalities. Pretty feathered coat in a variety of colors. Good playmate for children. Usually polite with people. Peaceful with other pets. Athletic and Velcro dogs. Now, let's take a look at the some cons. Prone to separation anxiety when left alone too long. Considerable shedding. Frequent grooming. Prone to excessive barking. Frequent brushing, combing, and clipping of the silky coat. Excitable or submissive urination, tendency to dribble urine when excited or nervous. Require a significant amount of exercise. Interesting facts, John F. Kennedy had a cocker called Shannon who was allowed to roam in the White House. Harry S. Truman had a cocker called Feller and Rutherford B. Hayes had a cocker called Dot. The main dog, Lady, from Disney's popular, Lady and the Tramp, is actually an English cocker. Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, were given a cocker called, Lupo, as a wedding gift. English cocker are great therapy dogs because they are so loving. Nursing homes and medical institutions enjoy having dogs come in and visit the people especially English cocker. Appearance, the coat is of medium length, silky in texture and either flat or slightly wavy. They have beautiful silky coat that comes in a huge range of colors and patterns. Available colors include black, black and tan, blue roan, golden, liver and red. The male cocker spaniel stands at 16 to 17 inches, while the female is slightly smaller at 15 to 16 inches. Both dogs weigh between 26 to 34 pounds and average litter size is 6 to 8 puppies. They have a good average lifespan of 12 to 14 years. Grooming and shedding. Cocker are moderate shedders and shed their fur on an occasional basis. Brush the cocker's coat two or three times a week to prevent or remove mats and tangles. You may also need to trim it for neatness every couple of months. A bath every six weeks or so doesn't go amiss. Trim the nails as needed, usually every couple of weeks. Check their ears regularly for any buildups of wax because they are prone to ear infections. Don't use a tight brush like the Ferminator on soft cocker spaniel fur. Use your fingers where possible to tease out knots and burrs that get caught in their coat. Brush the teeth frequently for good health and fresh breath. Cost, on average cocker puppy will cost $1,000 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $800 and $1,600. The price will vary depending on the breeder location, dog's bloodline, color, and age among other things. Exercise and trainability, English Cocker, especially, will do best with long walks or hikes with his person. Although a leash will necessary if you don't have a great recall. Owners should make sure the yard is fenced properly so the dog stays safe. Socialization can help your Cocker be as happy as the breed is known for being, in every new situation. They can learn a lot of new tricks, hard commands and have very impressive retention power as well. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Coren, English Cocker Spaniel is ranked 18. 
They understanding of new commands 5 to 15 repetitions and obey first command 85% of the time or better. Most cocker spaniels like to swim in a big pool or in a lake. They are fairly good at swimming, they also excel at various water-related activities. Barking, cocker spaniels bark a lot because their bark is their natural response. Somebody knock the door, ringing the doorbell, the telephone ringing or other similar noises can all start a cocker off barking. They like to show or express their feelings through their voice, bark more than their actions. Weather and climate, these canines have an awesome tolerance to cold and low temperatures. They can easily survive in snowy and chilly areas. Great option for those people who reside in wintry regions of the world. English Cocker have a decent tolerance to heat. These pooches can comfortably live in warm and sunny areas. They don't need a whole lot of protection from their owners during the hotter months of the year. Friendliness, Cocker are highly friendly and affectionate with small kids. These canines love to spend their time playing a lot of games with children of all ages. They are known to remain immensely gentle and careful whenever they are around a small child. These dogs have great social skills and known to get along really well with other pooches. They have no problem in sharing their things like food and toys with other canines. This is an awesome breed for those people who want to own two canines at the same time. Cocker take a little bit of time to get to know some other household pets like cats. But once these pooches are comfortable with other animals, they are known to be very warm and cordial. They are a bit more friendly with the cats, proper training and early socialization go a long way. These pooches are always excited to meet new people so they can make new friends. These canines are known to remain immensely warm and kind to the stranger. Adaptability. Cocker are really good apartment canines and are highly adjustable and adaptable in nature. They are known to blend in with the apartment lifestyle fairly well. It is important to consistently fulfill all of their exercise needs. English Cocker can be a decent option for the novice or first-time owners. These pooches are very easy to train and have moderate exercise requirements. If someone is ready to fulfill their high grooming needs, then Cocker are considered to be a fine choice for first-time owners. Cocker are people-oriented canines and prefer to stay in presence of their loved ones. If these pooches are left alone for extended periods of time, then it's not very good for their mental health and happiness. These canines can become frustrated and demotivated because of loneliness. They can also develop various bad habits like peeing inside the house, excessive barking, furniture chewing etc. Guard Dog, Cocker Spaniels do not make great guard dogs but they are pretty decent watchdogs. They can protect and look after their homes by alert their owners in case of any thieves, burglars or trespasses. They don't have an aggressive side which is a necessary requirement to be a good guard dog. Drooling, these pooches don't drool all that much. They mostly drool when they want something to eat from their family members. Apart from this, they are not known to dribble a lot. Health issues, familial nephropathy, this is a kidney disease that usually occurs in young dogs, and can be fatal. Cockers are prone to ear problems, like all floppy-eared dogs. Pyometra, uterus or womb of the female dog becomes infected, inflamed and filled with pus. Mammary cancer, common problem in female cockers, but is possible in rare cases for males. Patella luxation, this health issue is also known as dislocating kneecap. Hip dysplasia, it is a malformation of the hip joint that can cause pain and problems walking. Glaucoma, if left untreated, this condition can lead to blindness. Progressive retinal atrophy, all types of cocker spaniel may suffer from this genetic disease. Ectropion, this is a condition where the eyelid droops and exposes the eye. Adult onset neuropathy, neurological disease that may show up later in your dog's life after seven years old. Have you had any experience with English Cocker Spaniel? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.